I'm Dean. Welcome to Dino's Tech World. Today I'm going to show you how to install PHP on uh, IIS in Windows 11. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, the page windows.php.net. And uh, once we get to that page, you're going to click on the download links up here. And it will give you all the different versions of... Uh, uh, PHP. So if you need to load an older version, you can do that. The newest version is at the top here. And so we're going to go down here where it says uh, x64 and there's a zip file here. So we're going to download that file. I've already downloaded it. Put it here to speed things up. But you'll find the download file right here. It will be a zip file. And you're going to right click on it. And you're going to go extract all. That's going to give you this destination uh, folder here by default. But we're going to change this destination to C uh, colon backslash PHP. And we're going to just go extract. And that's going to create a folder called. Uh, um, PHP on your C drive and it puts all of these um, files under that folder. Now what we need to do is we need to set the environment variable. So we're going to go down to the uh, corner of Windows here and we're going to type um, start to type environment and it should bring up edit system environment variables. We're going to click on that. So that brings the window up without having to click around using for looking for it under the regular directories. Uh, so under system properties, environment variables is this button at the bottom. So we have user uh, variables uh, up here and down here we have system variables. We want to put this in system variables and we want to scroll down and find path here and we want to go uh, we want to go edit and it will list all of our system variables here that are, are under the path or under all of the directories under our path under system variables so we're going to go new and we're going to go c colon backslash and then we'll put php which is the name of the directory that we extracted everything to. And we're going to go OK. And I'm going to go back to edit again just to double make sure that this is down here. And once we've added that to the end of the path, close that out again and uh, hit OK here and OK here. So now if we go down to here again and type cmd and bring up a command prompt we should be able to type php dash dash version and it will come up and will tell us the version of php that's how we know we did this step correctly because because we've copied the files to a directory and we've set the path so now that Windows knows where PHP is. The next step is going to be to set up um, IIS uh, to, to uh, recognize PHP now that we've got it installed. So we're going to go down here to search and we're going to start to type IIS and you'll see it comes up with uh, Internet Information Services uh, Manager and we want to open that up. Now you want to look for this CGI icon and there's another CGI icon here and a fast CGI uh, settings here. Make sure those are here because if those aren't here, uh, we can't do this step. And if they don't show up, all you do is you start to type on turn windows and find turn windows features on or off and click that. And this is where you, if IIS isn't installed, you, you click it here to install it. But if it's already installed and you don't have the CGI um, icons, 
you're going to go down here to worldwide web servers and application development and make sure CGI is clicked on here and that will load those um, uh, modules or whatever so that we can uh, so that we can set up PHP because we need CGI to set up PHP all right so we're going to want to go to handler mappings and double click on this and we want to add a module mapping And so up here where it says request path, we're going to type star.php. And on module, we're going to go fast CGI module. And on the executable, we're going to go to here. And we're going to look for uh, on Windows C where we have P where we the PHP directory. And uh, down here where it says DLL, we're going to select EXE there. And uh, we're going to go to uh, PHP CGI. And that's, that's the uh, program we want IIS to run when it has a PHP file. And for the name, you can put whatever you want, but just PHP um, or something like that to describe it. And just click OK. And this is going to pop up and go add module mapping and we go yes and so that's added that um, the module mapping in for um, PHP now the next thing we want to do is we want to create a, a, a test file so we're going to create a um, test file and it's going to be uh, php and then it's going to be php info some parentheses there semicolon at the end and then we're going to write this and we're going to we're going to write it to a file we're going to just save it here but make sure you save it as um With a PHP ending, so so if you're creating the file for the first time, you would go to all files so that you can just name it um, PHP, and it can be I'm naming it test.php, but you can name it anything. Let me replace that. So then, if we open this up, so that's what you want inside of this. Uh, this file. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to copy this file. And we're going to go back to this C drive and we're going to find uh, INET pub folder. And we're going to go to WW root and we're going to right click here and we're going to paste access denied I'm going to continue and so it's going to um, it's going to paste it there uh, because of the permissions on www root uh, you don't want to create it right in here or it's harder to create it in here it's better just to create the file someplace else and copy it in here and then go go ahead and copy it in because uh, it's it, of the uh, security on the um, folder at any rate, what we're going to do next is we're going to uh, we're going to go to uh, localhost slash test PHP, which is the file that we just created. Hit enter. If you see this, it means you successfully installed PHP on uh, Windows 11 and on IIS. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.